Well, it's time for my favorite part of the program, where we talk about what this month's big idea looks like when it goes to work inside of you and me and changes the world around us, like our homes, our classrooms, even our entire school. Speaking of which, would you guys just repeat this after me? Friendship. Using your words and actions to show others you care now, I know that sometimes when we hear that word friendship, we may not think it's that big of a deal. I mean, everyone has friends, right? Well, friendship is a skill set. It's like learning to read or learning to do math. It's a set of important skills that helps us through life. I mean, I think we've all seen those people who have had a hard time dealing with other people. Boring! Wow, was that an opener this segment? Or are we shutting down the school? Tucker! Okay, Dale, I'm sorry. We are, we are friends, which is why, as a friend, I have to tell you I was getting backstage very bored. Like, super bored. Like, call the lumber company. I'm a two-by-four bored. Tucker, that's not very nice. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. But listen, I would just rather be a little harsh with you instead of everyone out there being bored. They'd be, like, all aboard... The fun train, huh? I mean, am I right? Does your brain follow what you say? Of course it does. I was a board, now I'm a train. I mean, what's so hard? So, let's let's play a game. Call up some kids. I could draw I could even draw a picture. No, we're not going to do that. Listen. I was getting ready to tell a story that I thought would illustrate the point of what makes a good friend. Is a good friend someone whose name is Tucker and that loves to play frisbee golf? Because if so, I got that down. No, you'll see and hopefully this story will help you see how important a skill friendship really is to your life. But first, I'm going to need three kids to help you tell this story. Sweet, I got it. I need some friends. Um, you with the hair, the girl in the back, you with the eyeballs. Okay, we got it. You, man, you look cool with the hair. Okay, Dale, I got my friends, my crew, and we're all gonna squeeze in here and hang out, okay? Good idea. Now, I made up a simple story that I think will work great for showing us what a good friend looks like and how important it is to practice our skills of friendship. Now, how many of you guys like football? Perfect. Well, our story today is going to be about a football team. Why don't you guys shout out your favorite one? Go ahead. Cleveland Browns. Saints. Browns, Saints, Falcons, all, all right. Okay, Tucker, you are an Atlanta Falcons player, okay? And you're on your way to a big game. Let's say since you've got a bunch of kids in the room, you're getting there like a kid would be riding your bike. Whoa, I must not be making a lot of money. I must be on that second string if I have to ride a bike. You sure I don't play for the New Orleans Saints? <laughs> okay. Sorry, I got it. Let's All ride. All right. Suddenly you wipe out. I mean, you hit a big rock and you go over the handlebars and you crash and burn. Oh, goodness. Totally scrape yourself up. You're in bad shape, okay? Ah! All right, wow. I think this must have been a mistake. I'll never make it to the big game, Dale. Thank you, Tucker. Tell my wife I loved her! Tucker, you're not even married. I'm engaged. Doesn't that count? Anyway, there on the side of the road, Tucker is laying all messed up. Suddenly someone comes down the road, riding on the way to the big game. It's a Falcons fan. Woo! Great! One Just of save their me. biggest fans. The Down. girl is a big fan. Down here! Please help! Nope. In fact, the fan saw the player, but she just knew if she stopped to help, she'd be late for the game. She had good seats. What if someone tried to take them? So she continued on her way. What? How dare you? You're not even a fan. You're not even a pinwheel. You have no right calling yourself a ventilator. Not a fan like a box fan. She was a fan like a sports fan. Either way, I am not impressed. Although the costume makes a lot more sense. Please be quiet. So I can finish the story. Not too long after, a second person came down the road. It was actually another player for the Falcons. When the player saw her own teammate on the road, she... 
Rush to help! Get over here! She hoisted me to her shoulders, hoist bucko, and carried me to the game. Lift with your back, not with your legs. It is faster. Tucker, you're going to hurt her. And that's not what happened. The player felt sorry for him, but she was late for her own game. Plus, she figured you were only on the second string, and she was on the first string, and she needed to be there at the start. So she hurried on by. How dare you? We play for the same team. I thought we were friends. Really? Yeah, she just walked right by. I thought she was actually going to help. Okay, we got to wrap this thing up. Finally, a third man came down the road. At first, the player couldn't tell who it was. Then suddenly, he could make out the man's jersey. Ah, it's a New Orleans Saints player. Not just a player. The star quarterback. On his way to the game, too, because after all, the Falcons and the Saints were facing off in the game that day. Oh, great. He's not going to stop and help. If anything, he'll just take my sweet bike. Am I going to be stuck laying on this floor forever? I think I sat on a Fruit Loop. Tucker, can I finish? The quarterback saw the man lying there. He knew that he needed to make the smart decision and treat others right. So he stopped. He bent down. He helped you to your feet. He balanced your bike, and you walked all the way to town to find help. He wanted to make sure you got the best, though. So when you got to a doctor, he stayed with you through the whole appointment. Even asked that you get your favorite Paw Patrol Band-Aids. You mean the ones with Sky? I mean, <laughs> what's Paw Patrol? I don't know what you're talking about, Dale. Did you say Sky? Somebody's saying stuff. After you came out of the doctor's office, you saw a fixed up bike that he had rechained and aired the t tires himself. The end. Wow, that was a crazy story, Dale. Well, it was maybe a little crazier than I intended, thanks to your help. Thank you, helpers, for making that great fun for everyone. Let's check out one more video. <laughs>